Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another H Powers 4 replay. It's on bottom left side as a Cyan Zuzi's Legacy of Cracky to Alt and Stuff. Spawn top right side as the blue English, we have Widowmine. Let's see now, we do have Zuzi's Legacy, so that means the Meditation Garden. You could put it right there, we'll give him a bit of food, gold, and stone. He is going to build a village there and get the mining camp there. Up here, give him two gold deposits and a bit of wood. Yeah, probably won't be able to slice the berries and the gold. Here is some deer. You can get two stone deposits and some wood. Yeah, I don't see a really good spot for the meditation garden. Here, I'll give him uh, food, stone, and wood. So yeah, I think maybe right here would be best. That'll be a decent amount of wood and gold. May slice a berry busher three. Not sure. But English player, of course, he's probably not going to touch the berries. I've, he could touch a deer, but sometimes they don't. And look at this, this side of the map here. There is traversable land here, but... There's actually not traverse much traversable land here, and there is actually a wall of trees to go over here. This is surprisingly to be secured by a couple palisade walls. So this gold is actually pretty safe if it doesn't touch the wood. Abbey of Kings now being established. He's going for meditation gardens there. Just going to be nice and safe. Get about what? 30 food, 25 gold, uh, maybe 40 wood. Not a super great one. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Seeing it's going th up by 3 per minute while well, gold goes to 25. This is probably like 18. This should go up to 30. Abbey King's almost established. Of course, that's going to be 36 food. There's only 13 wood, so I was way off on, on the wood. English player has deployed out secondary town center. What the three officials now being established? King Corsa has been pulling the field. He does move slightly faster than Scout, but he's going to just go push forward and engage some of these villagers. That's the village here, so he does have a place to hide away with those villagers. No Zheng in the tower just yet. He is going from our outpost there, collecting quite a bit of stone. He may be eyeing for the secondary town center somewhere. All this gold spawned up here as well, so he has to go past the king one for the secondary town center next to the, uh, towards the king. Villagers push away forward, trying to cook up some food. This is going to be maybe a fast castle. Need some extra more gold. After the town center there, he may go for a market. He's going for a mill next to the berries. Uh, of course, this does provide a bit of gold per minute. It looks like the king has a bit of damage there from the town center. We go back to this gold deposit, click up that gold. Plus, there's always taxes. I always forget about taxes for the Chinese, so you can get some gold that way. We've got multiple outposts in this region, so he has a lot of villager storage in this region. English Spearman, he has two hardened Spearmen pull in the field. And there's a Shadow monster, Monastery, so he's going for a fast castle. This course begins a Shadow Monk. Shadow Monks are excellent fighters. The English player is pretty far from aging on up. One of the spearmen did go down there. Scout and King trying to torch that stuff down. They're also disturbing the meditation garden. And I'm assuming, yeah, I can't. The dynasty button is actually here, unless you go to what's we call it, 
the caster mode, so you don't actually can't see what dynasty he's in or what the effects are for dynasty if you go in the caster mode. It's a bit of a bug in the replay system. At the Shaolin Monk one field, trying to pick up a relic. Does have some basic spearmen on the field. May have gone for a bunch of barracks as well, but... Dragon Tower, of course, does provide some free military units, but he has not bought the Dragon Tower, so he's mainly built the spearmen. The Shaolin Monk will take out half the health of a knight, being as much weaker than a knight. And so the Shaolin Monk may actually win a 1v1 versus the King. Probably will. Yeah, they have 16 versus 15 damage, more than twice the attack speed, nearly, well, actually triple the attack speed, with having only a little less health. So yeah, the Shaolin Monk will defeat a Feudal Age King. Got the White Tower now being established on the front line. With the extra towns out here, the and the White Tower, that's a lot of village storage in the front line. It's a safe spot here to establish some more farms. They may want to build his infrastructure a bit more off to the sides. As they got these spearmen, just to really wound them. Scout spots the relic, signs pick up two relics. Another bug in the replay system is you don't see Shaolin Monk's picked up relics. I do see three left on the map. English players now reach Castle Age. And Shaolin Monk does take a charge attack there. Does go for Wolo. But you do know there's no triangle above there. The king can stay. The king can't be converted. And the king is dead. Local doggo gets stabbed. And he is rebooting the king now. Long live the king. Got some vanguard men arms. Now they're early men arms. Wolf does go down there. A good amount of English forms being established. And the Chinese players just trying to reinforce the flanks with some wooden walls. Not be able to secure that uh, secret side there, though. The triangle walls here and here would do. He has something garrison inside of here. It may not be a villager, it may just be a spearman. But we got more structures being established. A blacksmith. Got more of the mining research as well. Deer does go down. And now the Zeus's Legacy player just has a good number of spearmen. Why is one of these hardened spearmen different than the others? Okay, I have no idea of that one. Usually the Jingen Tower does pull out a regular hardened spearmen. I don't think he even has a Jingen Tower in the field. Why is one of these hardened spearmen different than the others? What? I'm just confused by that. Like, I can't... They're all deployed from the same barracks. There's no Shengen Tower to queue up a different model. Why is there a different spearman? I think he only has one barracks in the field as well. Go for another crossbowman. Okay, one of these spearmen is not like the others. One of these two spearmen that's weird. It's this spearman that's different. 
Oh wait, is that an English spearman? That must be an English spearman. Okay. Yeah, look, there it is a different model. Ugh. Sorry, I just okay, that is an English spearman that was converted by that monk. Apparently they are not the same spearman. Good to know. Physically at the moment they're exactly the same. Other than just their look. You rarely ever see converted units, so. Yep. And that just threw me for a loop. More of the outposts under fire. It is upgraded, fortified, and spring gold. Dragon Tower not being established. I'll put up the Zuzi's Legacy Player up to Song Dynasty. Up another fortified outpost here into the spring gold place as well. We have some pass card on the build queue as well. And Song Dynasty has been established. Trying to rebuild those walls. Boar now being obtained. And that villager does not get bored by the boar. Got a monk here, kept from the sacred site now. Look at this as well. This is another bug that occasionally can appear. If you have both spears selected, he can, the English spearman can only build the English battery ram. The Chinese one can build the Chinese battery ram. So they. If you have them selected in the same army, they will not be able to put a few up uh, battle rams. There's a big problem when it comes to uh, Mongols with the Ogden Palace stuff. And if you just double click on the spearmen, you will still not be able to queue this one up. You have to then mainly click off the hardened spearmen there in order to make sure that you don't, uh, what's we call it, attempt to build siege weapons for that unit. So that one just uh, going to be a pain in the butt. Gonna be a little bit difficult. Who's not sure four has a good number of the mana arms, as well as getting more crossbowmen. Zuzi's legacy player has 26 crossbowmen, 10 more on the way. At this point in time, if the English player really pursues the mana arms, he may go for the uh, Zuzi's library and get the 10,000 bolts. As a additional what half damage uh, cross removal could go a long way. <laughs> Last of those berries being collected on up. We do have now the elite or veteran long bowman research. <laughs> The king immediately gets picked off there by the crossbowman. The king is dead. Got more long room being deployed up by the English player. Right now, the English player could age up to the Warren Guard Palace once he gets enough research. Berkshire Palace is also pretty nice on this map to lock down the central part of the map, which is where most fights tend to evolve in the center. I'm always biased towards the Warren Guard uh, Palace just to get out those uniquely elite units. Outpost trying to be established. Those villagers are probably going to go down. Four. Got a Shaolin Monk mixed on in as well. SBs does get a bit of damage on the range units. No counter right now to the SBs. Sign does have a good number of Spring Gulls to help escort them. Let's 
Zion's front line, however, was not strong enough, so that can disintegrate. He has a good number of the crossbones still remaining, so slowly poking away against these man arms. They do have a basic set of blacksmith research on them. They have his H2 or H3 items. Good number cross on the field still for the Zuzi's legacy player. He has enough gold to age on up. The English player has a bit of resource as well. Both of them could be eyeing for an age up right now. Looks like the Zuzi's legacy player is starting to run out of food and pretty quickly. He's collecting up some more deer over here. The boar has been seized. Yeah, so he's starting to establish more granaries and more farms, so this is where his transition starting to come in, too. It'll take a bit of time for all that stuff to get situated. He is now out of food until... And it's going to be a little bit of time before his food starts uh, picking back up. The English player, of course, has almost enough resources to age on up. Palisade the gate will be going down. He does have other walls in this region. It's not a high priority thing to defend. And he's going to establish the Berkshire Palace in the center of the map. That's going to be a very powerful location. Right now, only one second size captured by blue. The monk could be tasked to capture the other regions. And the wall does go down. We now have the military academy being established. The first shot palace does get completed. More forces just being deployed on out. Down south, we do have a wolf starting to bite away. Good amount of damage there on those mana arms. And now Blue's trying to push away forward over here. Got good number of and Spring Gold, but only a handful of these uh, Palace Guard. And which they are vulnerable to the crossbowmen as well as longbowmen will do some decent damage against them as well. They're doing 10 damage per arrow. These guys only have 5 range armor, so 5 damage per arrow. Trebuchet's taking out that outpost. The amount of damage there. And arms moving around, crossbone now engaging. Simon's coming out of these forces here. On those villagers. SP is firing away, getting some good damage there. Got these longbone also in the region as well. Looks like signs getting ripped apart from multiple angles. Having trouble. Lancers wouldn't be half bad against those longbowmen and the mana arms. Of course, that'll be expensive transition. Got elite arm attacks on the way from the English player. The Zuzi's legacy players has not been able to age up, so it's not looking good for him. Some good damage there. These 
And now I'm still being picked apart. Those guys do go down. We got these forces up here. Of course, now some of this other infrastructure. Reinforcement and research on along the way. Got yeah, 14 villagers here. You can store up all 14 of them inside the keep, and that should provide some plenty of defense. Local dog will gain some bites here, and this villager will go down to the wolf. Damaged. I say this one would disturb it. But overall, it's still providing us full income at the moment. And he is denying a decent amount of the gold income there. Does take another bit of damage. Now, the biology research elite horseman. Veteran Spearman. We got Temple Sun now being researched. It's not going for the Zeus's library. This will give him configurable bonuses. He's also going to establish a good number of archer ranges. I think he's going to try for grenadiers. He does get can get plus one range from his grenadiers. Gunpowder units, defense structures get plus one range. You could act, probably should activate Divine Vitality in between conflicts, just get the healed on up. So we've got a conflict now being happening. Bit damage there from Nest of Bees. Still has Divine Haste active. Horseman now charging way forward. Good counter unit there, rolling up by Blue. Sykes overall getting overran by these horsemen. Got the elite policy guard research now on the way. Keep over here did fire a brief volley. Some of these not getting hit by it now. Possible firing away. And still one nest bee does go down there. Still has lost another nest of bee there. Two are remaining. Got some English King Kinders now being established. More horsemen are advancing as well. And now we have the elite uh, palace guard. He can't afford the elite experience just right now. He's actually low on food as well. His force is just creeping away forward. Again, stuck to fire the structures. Let's take out the spring gold there. It looks like science is going to get overran. Now these forces start getting overran. More spearmen now being established. Getting some good hits on these horsemen. Got more spearmen up here. He's just trying to bring in a whole bunch of spearmen. And he does back the game now. This is Angry Insane. Thank you for watching and on the next replay.